Today I'm going to share with you guys all the must buys of skincare from Japan. So in this is not just skincare, I also have oral care because they go all out. And then lip care, masks, face wash, even deodorant, body care kind of stuff. So let's just dive in. Ding! I'm going to selfishly start off with my most unexpected favorite because I was just wowed. I have all the footage already. I just wanted to do that. So this is a brand that I've seen everywhere in Japan for years and years and I think it's just one of those drugstore staples over there. And so I picked up this deep moisture spray when I was in Cosme because it was actually ranking number two in facial spray. So it is a toner spray so you use it after you cleanse your skin and then you spray it all over. But do you see that? This is one of the most finest sprays I've ever used and on top of that one pump goes on forever I think it's like an infinite spray or something it just doesn't like finish well how does it do that let me try right Whoa. it just keeps it's an infinite spray until it runs out <laughs> yeah like literally until the bottle runs out the Japanese, how the, do they do it? I know! Why do you keep all these from things from us? <laughs> Pat. Mm. It is deeply moisturizing, but super lightweight and fine. And then the second day and then the third day, I kept using it and I realized it completely evened out my skin. It evened out the rough spots. It calmed the redness. And it's just like this invisible healing spray. The closest thing that I can think of is Laneige Cream Skin, but the Laneige Cream Skin is a little bit thicker while this one is so thin and lightweight, but leaves your skin almost feeling moisturized. The brand is also also designed for super sensitive skin and I haven't stopped being able to use this and I regret not buying more so if you're in Japan definitely pick up this Curel oh my gosh so I didn't realize at the time but picked up four different mists I think Japanese also really enjoy toning mist and what sets it apart to Korean sprays is their nozzle is so fine like it is on another level feel how fine this spray is <laughs> of these two, I can't decide. Like, can we just appreciate this packaging? I'm dying. So this is from the Decorte brand. It's called the Comfort Day Mist, and it was ranking number one in fixed mists at Cosme. And if you don't know what the ranking means, refer to the hair care where I go all into detail about how it gets to number one. Decorte is... Am I even saying it right? I don't even know. Decort is a Japanese brand that I only really see in Japan. And in my mind, it's in the price range of Shiseido. Speaking of Shiseido, this Elixir brand is actually from Shiseido. I have seen this everywhere and am now convinced. One for me, one for Rip. This one is more lightweight. It has a very fresh, floral floral fragrance and it doesn't have like a bio phase situation so it's just like a watery refreshing mist spray that has light enhancing pigments to just give your skin that glow but looks very skin like and apparently this one has like almost a waterproof effect to protect your skin from perspiration you know sweat and then grime from mixing in whereas this one this is the elixir luminous glow mist you just can't look past this one is a biphase oil, so it definitely has more tack, it has more moisturizing qualities, it also has a very fresh and floral scent. This side. Oh, it smells so good. It's a little too fragrant for me. <laughs> too feminine. Mm. And the mist, once again, out of these two, this is... It's not a mist, it's like an aura. It's so pretty. Like you can imagine yourself walking along this beautiful garden up at midnight with lights and this fine soft mist. You know, some of them, I feel like if you have drier skin, if you want a little bit more substance, I actually prefer this in the winter, but this one is definitely something to have in the handbag. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Uh, this was ranking number two at Cosme as the best eye care. Eye cream. 
because it's actually very affordable. I've seen it everywhere. And when you look at the ingredients, you know they're not playing games. It's got a soybean protein to build the skin. It's got retinol to help with fine lines and wrinkles. And then it's also got vitamin E to help smooth out rough and textured skin under the eye. The texture is definitely more on the creamier side. It's very smooth and moisturizing. Mm -hmm. No, you have to feel it. You have to put it on your fourth finger. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't have to, but like as long as you're light with it. And what does this do? It plumps up the fine lines that um, develop under the eye. Mm -hmm. What about the deep wrinkles that I have around my eyes? Those are unhelpable. If you feel like you have a lot of milia, maybe this formulation is not for you, but if it's fine lines, wrinkles, if it's makeup prep, you don't want it to look all wrinkly underneath, this is definitely a texture that you want to look for because it's more substantial, especially also if you're more mature skin. And a little hack and fun fact about like eye creams is that if there's really good ingredients in it like this, it's got retinol, you can actually use it around the lip as well as just like around here or on the forehead. With eye cream, I don't think anyone needs to really spend that much because it's like, why? Retinol doesn't have to be expensive. <gasps> okay, coming up next. <laughs> I've been talking about acne for about seven years now. And why haven't you told me about this? Why? This is the pear acne treatment and I got it at Don Quixote. It wasn't actually in the skincare section, it was in the drug section. And I think it's because of the ingredients that are in this. But before I get into the ingredients, let me just sell you on what it does. It's this creamy formula. It's like a lotion, it's very lightweight. It's even lighter weight than that eye cream, but it spreads very easily over the skin. And I was like, at first, why is this so, like just a moisturizer? And then, I kid you not, I put this on a cystic pimple, a cyst. And you know those deep purpley red ones because it was leading up to my period, <laughs> like it was flattened. I could still feel there was something there, but the size of it and the like pain of it had decreased by about 70%. So this was another cystic pimple, but it's completely flat. There's nothing there. This. I even put it on around the nose area where I get these little pustules and they are gone. And then Amber, our editor for Beauty Within, had this huge pimple on her cheek. You have to try this. Put it on within the hour. That pimple that had been on her cheek for about four days was flattened. So it says it's a highly effective treatment through the combined action of anti-inflammatory agent IPPN, which is ibuprofen Picanol and an antibacterial agent called IPMP. Whatever it is, the Japanese chemists have figured out something that the world does not know because the world needs to know about this acne cream. Just like add to cart, add to cart, like make sure this is definitely something that you have to pick up in Japan. Now, they are not kidding when it comes to face masks. Dude, this must be so popular because it's like everywhere. It's in the best of and the weekly. And let's start with this one. This brand is called Derma Laser 100 and you will see it everywhere in Japan. So I didn't know if it was just something they were pushing, but it turns out it is the top rated best-selling mask in Japan of 2023, this guy right here. And the cool thing is it contains seven sheet masks. They're all just in here and they're all pre-soaked. They have a lot of essence in them. Very important question. Do you want to try this one first or this one first? What is this super delivery? That sounds cool. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. And look, this is the first time I've seen like a bunch of them all Whoa. stored in the same thing. Did you use one already without me? Yeah. I use all the good things without me. I know. This is designed to improve hyperpigmentation, overall skin tone and texture, and even out any unevenness. The very first time I tried this on, shooketh. I took it off, my skin was so bright, it was so even. Nice, soft sheet. 
So this one contains tea tree as well as four different types of vitamin C. And there's one called osmotic vitamin C, APPS, which is both water and oil soluble. So if it can travel through water and oil, the delivery of the vitamin C is a little bit more effective. Vitamin C does not play well with my skin normally, but this one was fine. Tea tree is also really good for acne prone skin as well as anti-inflammations. And we will be back. No, the screen did not pause. We were just in that pose. <laughs> and my skin is thriving. You have mask, beard. <laughs> One, two, bing. Yeah. And then you can run the rest down your neck. Look how bright and smooth it is. How do you feel? Mm, pretty good. You look 10 years younger? Mm. That means you look 16? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you putting the rest of it? My ankles. I <laughs> oh my god! Pick this up. It is so affordable. It's sold everywhere. I will get back to you on this one. Now moving on to this. I got this at Cosme, and then apparently the Lululun is very popular, and it says here that you can only get it in Tokyo. We buy. They started this traveling Lululun series where they focus on using local ingredients for a special regional touch. So then this one is formulated around the camellia flower. And camellia flower has been one of the most well-used, well-known, popular ingredients from Japan. It's like part of their heritage and history. So the camellia used in this is grown in Toshima in Tokyo. There's also saffron extract as well as succinic acid. So saffron is we know of it in food and it's that like very pigmented orange part of the flower in the middle so that's where they extract it for like food things and then what they use for this is actually the rest of the saffron flower so when i used it it gave me very similar brightening effects like my skin is just so happy with face masks i think it's because i'm so dehydrated these days especially after coming back to new york life is not kind my skin was evened it was bright it was like truly glowing from within something that only a very hydrated skin can give you highly recommend those sheet masks now moving on to i think also something that i'm very because i'm like so excited about all these finds because they're just so good i think what really struck me the most is that japanese skincare aren't very loud about marketing their products let's say compared to korean skincare and just like korean in general like k-pop they're very good at marketing branding and they're very good at pushing things out internationally i found out something super interesting which i'll get thomas to share with you at the end of the video and it makes so much sense. Okay, next, I want to talk to you about cleansing oils. Japan has always loved their cleansing oils. So when I was in Cosme, I was in their weekly ranking shelf and these two were the top performing. So I got this one for Ro. I haven't tried it. It's called the Atina. So we'll wait to hear what Ro says about this when I give it to her. But I got the Rafra Oil Cleansing Serum. Oh, I, I've never tried an oil like this. End of the day. Best part, taking off makeup. <laughs> so this is like really stubborn eye makeup. It's like glue on my eyelashes because I only use waterproof mascara um, to hold the curl. Oh, it smells so good. And it just like easily dissolves it. And can open the eyes. The aromatics of this is off the chart. The only way I can explain it is if you peeled a mandarin or an orange in front of my face and you know that skin citrus, you know, when someone peels a mandarin, like you smell it, it's exactly like that so it's very gentle to use around the eye you just have to get this to know what I'm talking about and a fun thing to note is that the cleansing oil Ro was talking about the I see the cleansing oil that Ro was talking about very popular now since we're on cleansing this is the suicide powder wash so we all know about the 
original blue packaging and we've tried it years ago but I did end up getting this one because I've tried this which is great but there was a black one apparently it helps with sebum so we buy and I saw that it was suitable for oily skin and so I thought I'd try this out for you guys and see if you know it's worth getting over the original you get one I get one Gordon mm -hmm. Wow. And then we added the dip dip water. I'm also fine. <laughs> Gentle. The only difference between this and the blue one is that this has some charcoal powder as well as Moroccan clay. Anytime I hear about clay for oily skin, my first question will be, is it overly drying? Because even though you have oily skin, you don't want your skin to be dry. And I am very pleased to say this was a phenomenal cleanse because the foam is so creamy. How does that feel? Pretty good. Very smooth. Yes, it is smooth. Mm. But on top of that, these all include enzymes that help to break down the glue that's sticking the dead skin. So although I did buy this, do I think it's like heads and tails above the original. No, I, I think it just gives very similar effects, but if you are into something to draw out sebum, this is definitely something you can try. I just saw this, I forgot. So you know how Ro and I were talking about like stem cell and how everyone was talking about exosomes this year. And I actually found the stem cell facial treatment mask. Does that sound intense or what? I saw this at Don Quixote. I got Ro and myself one of these. There's just not a lot of information about this. Okay, let me see. This one says there's a nanonized complex retinol la liposome layer with new human stem cell derived exosome. I don't know. This is just what Google Translate is telling me. You know, you can't believe it, what it says 100%. For the price, I definitely don't think that there is human stem cells in this. I haven't tried it yet, but I will get back to you. We're going into like a random but very necessary category, deodorant. <laughs> TMI, I sweat a lot and BO is a real thing if I don't wear antiperspirants. And I saw this like kind of hanging everywhere in like the pharmacies. So apparently this has also been voted Cosme's best deodorant. Wait, what's the difference again? Brightening. Brightening, normal. We get brightening. It's actually one of the most popular antiperspirant or deodorant products that Japan has. It's the Dio Natural Soft Stone Double Color Control. This green one is actually to help with darkness, so it's it neutralizes the color. And it's this really interesting texture. It's like almost powdery, but I literally do not feel sweat coming out on the hottest day. Like <laughs> Don't shoot. <laughs> oh, by the way, there is no scent to this. It doesn't feel wet. It's dry and it's fragranceless. Like it's a tiny bit white and powdery. I don't know. I do have kind of like darkening on my armpits, but eh, embrace the darkening. Come, smell. I love it too. <laughs> <laughs> the grand smell of this thing is lit. I've always used antiperspirants and sometimes they get a little bit gluey. This, maybe because of the powder, actually absorbs it, balances this kind of ecosystem going on down here. Thomas will tell you, I will ask him in a bit. Remember what you said after we came back and I was using this? You're like, hi, I haven't smelled you for a while. <laughs> no smell. No smell. Mm. Then, if you go to Japan, you have to try their eye drops. So I have severe dry eye. Japan has this brand, it's the Roto C eye drops that are the most refreshing things that you'll ever put into your eyeball. This instantly makes you feel as though you have three extra hours of sleep. I'm alive! Oh, and they're also safe for contact lenses. Very important. 
So find this packaging if you love the Roto or you want to try eye drops that are very watery, they're very refreshing. It also says the level of freshness. So this is zero, which is why it's like the most comfortable. I think in the past I tried some of these and they're like really minty in the eye. So that's, I guess you can look for yourself. That's what these numbers mean. You can find them everywhere in like their pharmacies. Highly recommend. Cleansing wipes. Okay, let me tell you though, I was coming back from Japan, like we were at the airport and I had a full face of makeup on and I was like, nah, nah, sister, you can't get on a plane with makeup on. They had this at one of the stores. This legit changed my mind about cleansing wipes. I know, I know, we're not gonna use cleansing wipes all the time, but in a desperate situation, it's giving you everything and more. And this is honestly one of the most gentle, the most skincare-like cleansing sheets that I've ever used. It doesn't have alcohol in it, one swipe, and all your waterproof makeup literally melts away. And let me show you what it does with one wipe. I know everyone hates wipes. And they're so good. It's so good. And you don't have to wash it away. You can if you want. I didn't. And my face was actually moisturized. It didn't feel sticky. It didn't feel dry. Sometimes we just need a cleansing wipe because we just can't be bothered and we hate life. At the end of the day, we're just like, get this off me. Dental hygiene is no joke, guys. I got these little toothbrushes. Your normal toothbrush is not getting away the plaque around your gum. You have to floss and you have to get this. It's like super fine. So I first go in with my normal toothbrush. And I use this after my toothbrush. I won't rinse, but I'll go in with this guy and just concentrate around the gums. Because it's such a fine bristle, it gets into the, all the little nooks and crannies that your normal toothbrush can't get into. And it's so soft, it's like a cloud. Each bristle is almost like a third of the size of your normal toothbrush bristle. And you wanna go in little circular motion. And the dentist actually told me you have to get a really soft toothbrush for your gums because as you age, they will recede and we don't want that. We don't want our teeth falling out. And then these guys, I don't know if you've ever seen them, but I've been a fan for about a couple of years now. Like on the surface, they look fine, but there's many problems with them. You just have to up your dental care. And one of the ways I did that was I went and got these little sachets of mouthwash and they're actually very highly ranked in Japan. They come in different flavors and aromas. So I usually have the mint and lime. I love that one. But this I saw was this super sour like lemon one. And it's so crazy. <laughs> it like collects all the stuff from your mouth or something. And when you spit it out, you're like mortified. Let me show you. <laughs> Ew! Wait, why is it like that? <laughs> I swear my mouth is not that dirty! Wait, that is disgusting. It's not even focusing. That has to be inside the formula. My mouth is not that dirty. Wait, let's see yours. <laughs> Never kissing anyone again! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm sorry I had to see that, but at least we're addressing some issues, right? And I think it's just got something in the formula that like takes things out. I'm not even sure, I'll find out. And then not all of them do that. Like the mint one and maybe this peach one, it doesn't collect that kind of grime. So I don't know what it is about specific flavors that do that, but highly recommend you try those. And then of course, you can't go to Japan and not get lip balms. I picked up the Melty lip balm. We also found this Pikachu one. Is that not the cutest thing ever? Oh, let me get Thomas to share. I told them you would share your story. Come. What did the hairdresser say about products from Japan? The hairdresser mentioned that uh, they're very, the Japanese folks are very nationalistic, that they really, 
try to keep all the good stuff to themselves. And it makes sense if you think about it, like aside from cosmetics, Kobe beef, they didn't export that for the longest time. They keep all the good rice to themselves. Yeah, because I remember you mentioning that uh, like you only see Korean products. His hairdresser was saying he used to get trained for hair care and hairdressing and he would go to Japan and they would share a lot of these techniques and products, but they don't share it outside of Japan. So that's where you're talking about like they keep all the techniques and the formulations and the products to themselves. I noticed that they do keep a lot of like quality of life kind of products. Mm -hmm. Like I, I saw on uh, IG, they have this like little um, glue thing to tape down your baby hair. Yes, Waxing. it's the mascara yeah. wand, the flyaways. Mm -hmm. Do we normally have that here? No, it just makes sense. Like you wouldn't even think this is a problem, but when you see that they come up with this solution, you're like, wait, that is a problem I have. Yeah. Baby hairs are a problem I have. Kind of just depends on word of mouth outside for it to get viral. Because if you're not in Japan, you would never know. If you live there, that's your norm. So yeah. you wouldn't think it's like, you're, you're gonna like talk about it. Yeah, they're just like, well, this is normal for yeah. us. Yeah, I just loved all the like, the small quality of life things. Did you have anything you think you must buy? Lens cleaners. Oh yeah, you want to show? Lens wipes? Oh okay. yeah. They have these really good lens cleaning situation, lens of course. Wipes. It's not just like a, like a strong alcohol wipe, like the ones that I've used before. And this got like little texture to the fabric, so it actually like But it's soft. Things. Yeah, I've been using lens cleaners forever. These are the best ones I've ever used. Mm. Hope you have a fun time in Japan in the future. Let us know what I missed out on and what I should buy next. <laughs> Add to his credit card. <laughs> <laughs>